morning guys welcome to a Saturday Saturday in lockdown and we're gonna have fun we're gonna have a fun Saturday we did all the groceries yesterday oh my goodness what the heck Gracie how do you get sticks in your hair there's not even any sticks in your paddock trees look there's a whole tree wait there's a whole tree in her hair oh, crazy girl so we got Gracie here we got Penny Pickle there Emma and Ava. So she's gonna give some lessons this morning with Sophie, and I'm gonna ride Penny Pickle. I think it's safe to say that Willow kicked Penny last week, and she had a little bump on her knee. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Willow. Willow will be feeling fresh, and she is the boss of this herd. So I just wanted to make sure that she was feeling good before I started to really ride her. I got a new to me saddle that is the best thing. I that's the that's the saddle. As long as it fits everything, like, and I'm pretty sure it does. I've been sending pictures and videos to my trainer, and she also tried it on the horse before lockdown. So today I'm going out. It's early, it's morning, and we're going riding. Penny, we're going riding. She's like, yes. Do so you have her no, I don't have her halter yet. I'm gonna see if she's feeling energy, energetic. So it is my, come on, come on, come on, Penny Pickle. You ready to roll? You ready? Come on, come on. Yeah, this is gonna be the ride, you guys. This is gonna be the ride. I rode Penny yesterday, and she was not really feeling it. She's just slow and relaxed, but today, today she's like, let's do this thing. And I feel like that too. So yeah, let's go, Pen. Oh, and yeah, what about you? Little Minnie, this Minnie has been, ever since the girl shaved her, she has been energetic. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I bring Penny in to the barn when I'm all by myself. I have to make sure the horse, the ponies are outside and I have to bring her in. It's can, kind of tricky, but she showed me the way, you guys, she showed me. anxiety about bringing her in with the ponies when I was down here by myself but she showed me she said she showed me like just let me go in ahead of you I'll stand there and wait for you while you close the door and then we'll walk on together and I was like okay that's exactly what we'll do like this horse you guys so I'm gonna have like a more specific ride today uh, the last few hundred rides I've had at home here have just been like a um, Trial run, just get in the feel of things. Today I'm gonna push myself, I'm gonna push Penny, and we're gonna see what we can do out there, Pen. You ready? You ready for this? Well, I think she's feeling it, you guys, so let's do this. Did you ever stop and think, why spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me Let me be real here When I see you my heart starts racing But I don't know if I like this chasing And playing and waiting around It's a shame that my hands start shaking All of the time when you're around me But this time, this time
You done riding? Huh? You done riding there? Go one more time. No, I'm fine. Are you doing? Well, that's where all your hair goes missing. I'm not gonna put all my ride with Penny today in there in the video, but my goal today was to make her sweat. You deserve those, Penny. And there, what? Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, soaked. She's probably gonna be sore now. So, and I worked on making her go. So you guys know when I first bought Penny, the very first, like she always would go fast. So I'd sit down and then she'd just go fast. So I worked really hard on helping her, letting her slow down. And now I want her to actually work. And so anytime I'm trying to get her to go faster, she breaks into a canter. And I'm pretty sure that the reason is, and she's always done it, even when I tried her, she did it. And I'm pretty sure the reason that she does that is because it's easier and we've had other horses Stella was the same like it's just easier for her. what is that about it's easier for her to what are you doing uh, it's easier for her to canter than it is for her to go that one speed and so I think that's why she does it she does it almost always on the way home now that was a really fun ride for me we I like we rode for a good half an hour which has never happened before and I worked really hard at making her uh, keep the gate that I wanted I'm proud of her I'm proud of her. And you know, Sophie is always worried that I brag about her. But one thing is true. Sophie will always ride her better than I will ride her. Like, Sophie sits on her and that horse is like, okay, what do you want me to do? Part of it's probably because Sophie knows how to tell her and I still struggle. I'm confusing to her. But what a glorious way to start my morning. No matter how much I brag, you will always ride her better than I ride her. Because she listens better to you. Yeah, because she thinks of me work. But I need her work. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning. Like, I was using all the muscles I have. All of them. It was so hard. I don't get headache in the car now. Oh, I was getting cramps like crazy. 11.32. On 7.32. So I am working on two other projects, two videos. We're going to shoot one today, and I'm working on editing one. Um, so... I'm going to edit my own video. So, yeah. Sophie, you want to learn to edit your own video? Well, I want to try to do different stuff so I know what I'm good at. By the time I'm older. Yeah, that's what school is all about. But all I right. I definitely want to be a coach. Well, when we, yeah, I think Sophie is going to be a coach. She had such a good feel of it, watching those babies fly off the, fly off oh, the Oh, no, I wouldn't do that with real kids. <laughs> she wouldn't. Okay, so. We do it walk trot for like years until they're ready. Anyways, uh, we'll catch up with you in a little while while I try and work a little bit on these projects, and we'll see you in a bit. We're back down at the barn because we're going to shoot a video down here, an extra video for tonight. The horses are gone. I figured out what they're doing back there. So essentially, once their food is done, they go back there where there's teeny tiny bits of grass coming up and they pick at the grass. All right, so we shot a video. You guys will probably have already seen it. Uh, we shot it down here with the horses and those two stood over there and had naps. And this one, who thinks she's a person, I'm so shocked that when Gabby called Molly up onto her lap that she didn't jump up there because that's the kind of po pony she is. Anyway, when we were shooting the video, this is what's crazy to me. When we were shooting the video, one of the girls at the barn sent me a video and said, oh, I just wanted to show you this video of Chino running down the field. So this girl was walking down the road on the opposite side of the horse field and she looked over and Chino was running down the field and she sent this video, yeah. Chino out there acting crazy in the field. And what's crazy about that is that people tell us that Chino does like crazy things in the field, but when we're there, all he does is sit and do nothing, ever. Haley told us that she was riding one day and she was just riding and she looked out the back window and all of a sudden she said, Chino just came flying over the fence into a whole other field of horses. Just came, he just jumped and flew into another field. And I'm like, mm, I do not believe it. And then this girl sent me a video of Chino running with all the other horses, having the best time. Like, it's just crazy that horses have a whole life without you and you think you know them, but really you don't. All right, Gabby and I are here at the barn and we're here to treat Storm. So we have to treat us his butt every day and he's not here pretty sure i saw a storm in the back field when we were driving by what all right i'll wait here for you i'm not walking all the way down there 
for them to run and come back this way. <laughs> so we'll see if Storm comes back. No sign of Gabby yet. Oh, I see her. And she's got Storm. There they are. They're on their way. They're pretty far back. Show you how far back they are. Zooming out. Zooming out. They're way down there. How was he? Easy to catch? Huh? Is he easy to catch? Yeah. That's good. Didn't go running off. Good boy, Storm. I'm just here to clean your butt. <laughs> Boy, Stormy. See, here's his butt. It looks like a bunch of bumps on his butt. Here right, we got a bucket of water. We're gonna wash it off. We got Stormy tied up there. Pretty much done, and we're gonna head home. Don't you know that you're beautiful?